The European Union pays billions of euros a year for its dependence on Russian fossil fuels. Following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the EU's initial reaction to reducing its dependence on Russian gas was to buy more elsewhere, either from neighboring countries like Norway or Algeria, or in the form of LNG gas, which arrives by ship from Qatar or the United States. But this cannot compensate for all the gas we still get from Russia. This is where the European Commission's Repower EU plan comes in. The plan aims to phase out Russian fossil fuels and speed up the EU's green energy transition by boosting investment in renewable energy sources. The bulk of the investment necessary to finance the transition to renewables should come from the Recovery and Resilience Facility. Now that's great news, but let's look at the details. Remember, these are loans. So, a few questions remain. Will all member states actually use the money? And if so, will they build the right things? And even if they do, how long will it take to build the installations on the ground? The European Commission wants to shorten permitting procedures by designating special areas where renewable power projects can be built. But ultimately, this still depends on the willingness of local politicians to go along. The European Parliament will therefore need to take a close look at whether the proposed measures are enough whether member states do the right thing and whether the overall coordination is right. The same goes for the European Commission's initiative on saving energy, which is another part of the Repower EU plan. Everyone agrees, consuming less energy is a good thing, but it is a voluntary goal so far. There is therefore an obvious risk of free riders and a lack of overall coordination. These examples show just how much work still needs to be done to getting the EU off Russian gas. Putting in place the right framework for the EU's energy security requires a combination of three things. Political will, money for the necessary investment and overall coordination. Only if all three sides of this triangle are in place will the EU succeed in becoming independent of Russian gas. This is a long and complicated process and we are still only at the beginning. We at EPRS, European Parliamentary Research Service, will continue to analyze and decipher this process. See you next time.